Evacuations underway right now in Napa County as this brush fire spreads. Cal Fire says the fire is uh, 120 acres. It's 5% contained. It's burning northeast of Napa. You can see some grass there, some brush uh, with some trees. It's a stretch of Old Soda Springs Road is being evacuated right now. And as you can see here and there, there are some structures that are being threatened. Uh, there are no road closures in the area, but the fight continues. We'll continue to monitor that throughout the night. Busy day for fire crews battling this grass fire near El Dorado Hills. This one broke out about 1.30 this afternoon near Highway 50 and Latrobe Road. Livecopter 3 overhead shooting this video for us about an hour and a half ago, and you can see the area that burned there as firefighters continue to put water on it and watch for any hot spots. And in Solano County, Ford Progress stopped on a grass fire near Highway 113. Pretty good amount of smoke there. Livecopter 3 over this one earlier today. You can see the burn scar there. This is along Hay Road. Crews were called out about 1215. And also along with that burn scar, the wind pushing the smoke there pretty good. No officials, or I should say officials say no buildings were threatened in this fire. And then from that life, Copter 3 also flying over another fire in Solano County. Some beehives, that's what those boxes are right there. Beehives caught fire, unfortunately. And this was near Pennsylvania Avenue and Cordelia Street outside the city of Fairfield. And firefighters on the scene keeping this under control, working to knock down those flames. Well, that combination of the north breeze and the dry air raising, of course, the risk for more of these kinds of fires. And for more on the conditions out there right now, we want to turn it over to meteorologist Heather Waldman. And you've been tracking these winds. Mm -hmm. What are they looking like right now? Yeah, well, the good news is over the next couple of hours, it looks like this dry north breeze is going to start to settle down. That will allow this red flag warning to expire. Technically, it expires at 8 p.m., but of course, that doesn't mean we flip a switch and all of a sudden the fire threat goes away. There will still be somewhat of a breeze through this evening but winds will slowly start to turn from the west and these relative humidity values, which have been very low all day, will start to come up as well. So good news when we're talking about fire risk winds right now for the valley coming out of the north, but you can see how they've shifted for the Bay Area into the North Bay, the East Bay, even parts of the San Joaquin Valley. We're starting to get into more of a Delta breeze pattern. That'll be the case for tomorrow. As for the rest of today, the fire threat index at a moderate level because of that combination of fuel moisture, the breeze and relative low humidity levels, but tomorrow as the wind drops off, we get to lower that fire risk just a bit. I'll